Is there a limit to the freedom of speech and expression, or is it truly an unfettered right? Welcome to a deep dive into the world of constitutional rights, where we unravel the complexities of Article 19 of the Indian Constitution. Imagine a world where you could say anything, anytime, anywhere, without any fear of repercussions. It sounds like a dream, doesn't it? But in practice, it could be a nightmare. This is why we have legal provisions like Article 19. Article 19 of the Indian Constitution is a beacon of hope for the upholders of democracy. It promises every citizen the right to freedom of speech and expression. But what does this really mean? In simple terms, it means you have the right to express your views and opinions freely through any medium you choose, be it words, writing, printing, pictures, or any other mode. This provision is the cornerstone of any democratic society, ensuring that every citizen has a voice. However, it's important to note that this freedom isn't absolute. There are some necessary restrictions that the Constitution itself provides for in the interest of public order, decency, morality, contempt of court, defamation or incitement to an offence. These restrictions are not arbitrary. Instead, they have been placed to ensure that this freedom is not misused to create chaos or to hurt the sentiments of others. They act as a balancing mechanism, ensuring that one person's freedom does not infringe upon another's. So what happens if someone violates these restrictions? They can be taken to court, and if found guilty, they can be punished under the appropriate laws. Now, you may wonder why we need these restrictions. Imagine a scenario where everyone is allowed to say anything they want without any accountability. It could lead to widespread defamation, hate speech, and even violence. Therefore, these restrictions are necessary to maintain peace and harmony in society. To sum up, Article 19 of the Indian Constitution grants every citizen the right to freedom of speech and expression, but it comes with certain restrictions to maintain public order and respect the rights of others. It's a delicate balance between individual freedom and societal harmony. Remember, Freedom of speech and expression is not just about your right to speak. It's also about your responsibility to respect others' rights. It's a two-way street. So next time, when you raise your voice, remember the power and the responsibility that comes with it. Thank you for joining us on this journey to understand the nuances of Article 19. Freedom of speech is a broad and complex subject and we've only just scratched the surface. Keep exploring, keep questioning and most importantly, keep expressing. Before we wrap up, let's delve into some significant Supreme Court judgments that have greatly influenced the interpretation of Article 19. Firstly, we have Ramesh Thapar versus the State of Madras a pivotal case that emphasized the importance of freedom of speech and expression, setting a precedent for future cases. Next, Bennett Coleman and Ampor, Company versus Union of India. This case highlighted the importance of press freedom as an integral part of Article 19 and how it plays a crucial role in forming public opinion. Lastly, the case of Shreya Singhal versus Union of India, which led to the striking down of Section 66A of the IT Act, thereby strengthening the protection of freedom of speech on digital platforms. These cases have played a significant role in defining the scope and limitations of freedom of speech and expression in India, showing us that the interpretation of our rights is an ongoing process shaped by societal changes and legal precedents.